Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to get the who is of a website domain. Now if you don't know what who is, um, is, kind of weird to say, but this is a tool that gives you information about who registered a domain name. So if you just write any domain name, the top level domain, the newboston.com, so make sure that you don't add HTTP or www or anything like that. And remember we got this in um, a previous tutorial, like the second one or whatever. You can run this tool and it shows you info about who registered the name, who they registered it through, and if you didn't choose domain name privacy, then it's also going to give you information like their phone number, uh, their address, their uh, full name, um, you know, a bunch of like personal information. So another thing I want to point out, whenever you're making a website and you buy a, dom a domain name, you register a domain name, there's going to be an option that says do you want to buy domain name privacy now it's gonna be like 10 bucks or something a year but it's worth it because if you don't all of your personal information is gonna be out for the public to see so make sure that you choose domain name privacy and well there you go so for this uh, let me just make a new one what am I gonna name it who is let's keep it real simple who is that py so this is going to be, you know, just like before. What we're going to do is we're going to call a function called git who is, and we're going to pass in the URL. And remember, this is going to be the top level domain name. And the command, show you guys. Now remember, the format of the command is just the word who is, a space, and then the top level domain name. So for this who is make sure you add a space after there and then the URL which is going to be like the newboston.com um, uh, amazon.com whatever it's like hard to think of just the domain name weird alright so the process for this equals OS pop in aka process open and command and now we wanna whenever we run this command we just wanna get did I not import OS? That's embarrassing. We just need to convert this to a string. So results equal string process dot read. And from here we just return the results. Alright, and that's all there is to it. So this is actually probably the easiest tool that we made yet. And just so we can verify that this bad boy works, if we just write print get who is the new boston.com so I'll run this and check it out alright so this is all the information about my domain who registered it um, who I registered it through and let's do another run real quick let's uh let's do reddit I love reddit I'm addicted to it All right, so there you go. Who registered this? Their names, phone number, yada yada, tomato tomato. Lots of sweet information. So let me tidy that up a bit. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you build a Who Is scanner in Python. Don't know what we're going to be covering in the next video, but it's going to be sweet. I'll see you then.